Well, hello everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, this is uh, Paul at uh... <laughs> Home Life. Oh gosh, you try to get all fancy with your introduction, and that's no, what just happens. Just go with huh? what we normally do, honey. Okay. <laughs> hello everybody. This is Paul. I'm Jeannie. <laughs> and welcome to Life at Home. And it's Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Well, now see, wasn't that smooth? Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> well, uh, today we're going to head off into a very light subject. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not light at all. Jeannie, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about how to get free. Yeah. How to keep relationship. Ooh, this is good. How to stay out of the way. And let God do what he does best. I want to be able to do that. Yeah, me too. How so do I do that? Remind ourselves over and over. Okay, Romans 12, verse 14 says, I might not like the way this sounds, but it works because God told us to do it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Ooh wee wow, oui. This is the good part. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. All about relationship. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you're a know-it-all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I, referring to God, will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they're thirsty, give them something to drink. And in doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. This is the most important verse. Don't let evil conquer you. Hmm but conquer evil by doing good. That sets us free and allows God to work. Yes. Those are some uh, tremendous verses. They're heavy. Where's that out of Romans 12? Romans 12, verses 14 through 21. You know, nobody gets through this life uh, unhit. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> by other people, sometimes by ourselves. Uh, nobody gets out unscathed. There's plenty of hurt to go around in this world. And the way that Jesus teaches us to deal with that is so, you know, counterintuitive to human nature. And yet, I've seen people with unforgiveness on them for a long period of time. They don't look very happy. And yet the person that hurt them might be just running off fine. And here they are still kind of uh, stewing in that unforgiveness. That's a hard place to live. It's almost like, uh, you know, being in prison. We think that, I think we think sometimes by not forgiving somebody, we are teaching them a lesson or, you know. Getting even. Getting even with them somehow. But when you forgive, you actually let somebody out of prison. And the person you let out of prison when you forgive is yourself. <laughs> exactly right. It's almost like the unforgiveness in us like builds a cage around us. And then, and then that perpetuates itself because then we don't trust anybody. We don't stick our neck out for anybody. We don't help anybody, you know, because they might hurt us. And yet we lose out on all the joys of, that Jesus would lead us into. You know, he said from the cross, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And I believe in my heart that we're to adopt that same uh, attitude and that same... Now, look, we don't have the power in us to do that. And, and don't look for the power within yourself to do that. But call on the Lord. He'll help you forgive. It'll be good for everybody. It'll be good for you. Okay. I have some I have some medicine for you and it's good for you and it's called a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> it's called forgiveness. And yeah, that does sound like that, huh? Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. And that we're all in that same boat together. So forgive. Quit carrying that thing, would you? Care to know my name, you care to know my 
feel my hurt Who am I that the bright and morning star Choose to light the way my ever-wandering Because of who I am, but because of what you've done, not because of what I've done, but because of who you are. I am a flower quickly fading, in a day and gone tomorrow, wave tossed in the ocean, paper in the wind still. Hear me when I'm calling Lord, you catch me when I'm falling You told me who I am I am yours I am yours Who am I That the eyes that see my sin Look on me with love and watch me rise again. Who am I that the voice that calm the sea would call out through the rain, calm the storm in me? Not because of who I am, but because of what you've done. Not because of what I've done. But because of who you are I am a flower quickly fading In a day and gone tomorrow Wave tossed in the ocean Vapor in the wind Still you hear me when I'm calling Lord you catch me when I'm falling You told me who I am Father, it's in Jesus' name that we're before you now. We thank you for this day. We thank you for our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you came and found us. Though we were on the run, you hunted us down with your love. I pray, Father, blessings on all who hear this. I pray, Father, connection, sweet, loving connection between you and all who hear this. Lord, forgive us of our sins. Help us, Father, in this area of forgiveness. It's a tough one for us, Lord, and you know that. So help us, Father, just to let everybody that's hurt us be forgiven now in Jesus' name. We love you, Lord. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Tune in tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. 7 o'clock. See you then.